was probably. <laughs> so instead of 16k, you were on A team. Well, if it's like five people there, like what, like what, would, what do, what would you think? Like the institutions will do, okay, and the let's, banners let's as go well. Back to time machine, time machine, zero, zero. Okay. Because the, the the DAU was never that high in yeah. this game. Even at the peak, it was like but this uh, forex. Forexes don't have high DAU. That's why they don't have ads. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. And these ones okay. did. <laughs> they didn't yeah. do a good job. But now, I mean, like that's kind of like proof of why. This is no bullshit game. gaming podcast. Two and a half gamers sharing actionable insights. Dropping knowledge from our day-to-day -day user acquisition, game design, and ad monetization jobs. We are definitely not discussing the latest industry news, but having so much fun. Let's not forget this is a 4 a.m. conference discussion vibe, so let's not take it too seriously. <laughs> okay. Welcome, everyone. Uh, this is session number 77. My name is Matija Lancharic. I'm Felix Broberg. And I'm Jakub Remiar. We are your hosts. Thank you very much. Welcome. So, what to start with? I think Gamescom party, amazing. Thanks for coming. Uh, we're planning to do s more of these in the future. So, so Mati is actually um, excited. He's just pretending he's not excited right now when he's like talking yeah, about I'm this. Yeah, I'm excited like... in the inside. I'm excited in the inside. <laughs> Could you deliver that with a bit more enthusiasm? No, 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 no. It was amazing. No, it's, uh, you should definitely come and see us. Um, Life also um, solves the sound quality issues you had before and we had before with some live uh, recordings. But now, uh, so I'm the master of the, the AI, AI and music and everything, uh, which is making wonders. So <laughs> we can record on the construction side and we should be fine. So... <laughs> It was definitely good to see you face to face. Uh, I was actually glad I'm leaving on Thursday because uh, it was really overwhelming, honestly, <laughs> after two days of seeing everybody at Marriott. Uh, anyway, so I think this is going to be the quickest review of all time because we are uh, actually talking about Empire Takeover today and uh, we are re reviewing a dead game thanks to Dr. Reem over there. So it's super interesting until the point it's not. <laughs> but it gives are interesting. You learn from them because yeah, they're yeah. dead. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. I'm really looking forward to see what we are looking at, uh, looking at here and, and learning. Um, but since we love our dear co-host, we're actually doing it. And since we are not famous for 20 minutes intros about things that nobody cares about, but we are famous for getting straight to the point and actually bring value. So let's start, Felix. What you got? Before before diving yeah. into this game that Dr. Remiar uh, yeah, so okay. astutely chose, let me just start off by saying, yeah, I, I got a lot of questions from the podcast two <laughs> weeks ago about Maloko and how much they're paying us or me. Uh, nothing. Uh, the only thing they paid us was a steak sandwich. I do believe yeah. uh, they expensed that. So we got paid a steak sandwich. It's actually like if we're doing paid promotion on this podcast, we'll always tell you and it will look yeah. like an advertisement. And that's how we do paid promotion just to get that out of the way. Uh, Maloko is just one of those things that actually worked and basically I was excited because not a lot of things do work in Admon so just yeah, public service yeah. announcement saying if we do get paid by anyone you'll definitely yeah, well, no. yeah, you'll yeah, know well, no. um, I think uh, I have a great Admon part on this because it's <laughs> such a good game I mean it's, yeah, it's uh, Remo maybe you can uh, I don't know I'll, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just yeah, do no, my little part just because, uh, can you show the game me? maybe yeah. You should just tell me or maybe yeah. will, uh, like uh, excite us all. Like why the fuck we're talking about? Yeah, this like in, in in the quiet words of the Virgin Mary, why am I reviewing this game? Yeah. Oh wow, because this is amazing very game. Unusual. It's very unusual. Very unusual. Yeah. Very unusually dead. Whoa. It's <laughs> yeah. Can great. you? Okay. You just do your part first, because like yeah, you do. Yeah. You. Let's yeah. Let's 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 do it like that. Because yeah. uh, honestly, if we <laughs> talk about this, nobody will listen anymore. Okay, so you want me to excite you for this game? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Like, why Absolutely. the fuck are we even talking about this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. like I, I'm very tell us. Because I've never seen anything like this. So yeah, me neither. It's like <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> for, for those not getting why we're talking about this shit, we're doing including it. us too, with, with yeah, Felix, exactly. by the way. But yeah, Ooh, because it has very interesting design concepts in it. And uh, by the way, by that and that how these two uh like to joke here the game was actually making a pretty big chunk of money it's was. not that was. Yeah, was and by the way is i like, know it's still i see it's still, right. yeah it still makes like, it makes like seven okay okay, okay. enough jibber jabber like why 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 are you excited remo 
yeah, just uh, let me finish the numbers part so people know the scale we're talking about. Okay, I so will talk about it. Currently, talk about... the game makes around 700k in IAPs on literally nearly a zero downloads. A yeah, month. Yeah. A month. A month. Zero From like 22,000 users, right? From 22,000 yeah. users. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It it's, starts it's somewhere no like, 20, like half of 2021, peaked in like April 2022 like with June. something like one and a half, one and a half million a month IAPs. I don't know how much with ads, but at that point, it oh, was well, not that much. <laughs> like, yeah, it's not that much, but it's still like solid. But it's still going, I, I would say, kind of stable, even though on the download side, it looks completely dead, which says something about the Forex core loop, which kind of drags the whole thing with it. Sure. So that's... But I think uh, we can be a little bit more generous here because uh, I just um, included in these revenue numbers a sadness multiplier and sadness because we're always sad to see the tools that are letting us down. So We do have a remedy for this that we're going to show our dear viewers very soon, but it's, it's going to be beautiful. <laughs> this multiplier. Yeah, because it's like, I think it's 2x. So uh, right now from the other tool I saw, they're making 1 million. Uh, yeah, let's just basically. go back. So, yeah. No, no, like they, they make a million a month because of the sadness uh, multiplier. That's it. Okay, you make a million a month. Okay. Yeah, you can. You can okay, continue. so the sadness multiplier is one million a month. Uh, no, it's not. Some... The, the multiplier is like two x. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> uh, but whatever. Like if you if you have a multiplier of of million, then you know they're making shit ton of money. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Uh, continue, the yeah. other interesting thing regarding the numbers, their retention seems pretty solid. Pretty uh, solid. Where did you, where did you get the retention numbers solid? Because uh, when I looked at it, it was fucking tools. terrible. Clown no, no, data, no, no. clown data no. tool one or clown <laughs> data tool two. <laughs> it actually told like it went to shit suddenly. I don't know why. From somewhere like uh, March to April or February, sorry February. But before February 2023, it was like 10 percent day 30 and like 18 percent day seven. Which what? is I, I saw solid. I saw four percent day thirty and uh, like day nine like one percent basically. Even in twenty twenty two, the whole like overall the whole period. There you go. They were great data tools. Yes, <laughs> secure guards. Yeah, I mean that that doesn't make any sense. These like uh, retention numbers because if they have strong retention numbers, they wouldn't. If they have no strong retention numbers, then they would. Maybe they just like went through the whole. Forex. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah but day one is like forty percent. That's what I see, and yeah. then day seven, eleven, which is which feels weird. Anyway, yeah. So the thing is that uh, this is in the end the hidden forex, but the forex is still heavily simplified. The game starts basically with the usual kind of a creative levels, like levels copied from our favorite creative. I even was able to found uh, different levels. I don't know even how you get there no normally, like through this kind of idle menu. So there's actually, they even have like, I found like three levels. So they have the uh, the assault one, which is our favorite. Wait, can you just not? Yes. Ah. Uh, yes <laughs> so you okay. can finally play this shit. <laughs> that's, so... what they that's what they had in the in the static images, actually. Yeah. So they they actually they actually ha have this as some kind of like separate mode or something. I don't know how how it. I, I don't even know how I got there because what, what these guys have the, like they pretty much built not only these kind of hyper kind of creatives into it, but they built pretty much the whole AFK arena into it. On top of it, they have pretty much all the like core mechanics of AFK arena like RPG. We will get to it. So you have this thing. Then you have the the main combat thing, which is now our favorite uh, mushroom wars thing, which is by the way. Pretty Can you just say that this out. is the this is the Futui, right? Can you like yeah? This is not a Futui. There's even one more within the Futui, which is the one you're cutting the grass and the way for 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 guys. I don't know how this is even called. Like who uses it? Where you have like again these small idiots, and then you want to kind of cut their way for them through the multi. Like an upgrade for the gate game. Like I would say same wait because when i was playing this like uh like two days ago the fatui was literally i had to play until level 17 in this and then i was given the basis to attack others mm, there's different games different meaning is like three to four i think they have okay here. so there's even a pvp like this like pvp version of this so and this by, by the way gets kind of really complicated because i can already use my hero as you see on the bottom which charges mm. up I have my separate upgrade tree just for this thing. And there are like multiple opponents in these game modes later down the line. And it takes really like a 
little bit of more thinking how to actually solve these things because you this can get like super complicated and they have like mines whatever obstacles like these other things the rules how these towers work like it's it's literally very very fleshed out so it's not really your usual like we copied some ua creative they mm. actually took the time to like build this into like a proper co puzzle game like i find this enjoyable like Literally. Of course you do. I Beating do. these, I, I, they're, they're it's why we talk about this game. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. by the way, you, you can, can even skip, skip the levels, but not all of them. See, I can no. skip just one more, and then I need to do it. There's no way around it. So you, you cannot just skip them like in every other games where they are completely optional. This is part of main progression now. And I love like how the UI looks like this, is like unfinished build from like ten years ago. Yeah, it yes. looks like the whole game looks like it. Yeah. Like if we go to the Forex part, it's same shit. Like, looks yeah. like some unfinished shit. Like, if I go attack someone, uh, yeah, let's yeah. Just, just get this guy. It actually looks like a whatever. Yeah, Windows 998. Yeah, see? Yeah. <laughs> so, so it looks kind of like super low budget -y. I don't know even how to call it, but it, it worked before, like, one and a half million a month isn't like a small feat to do. How much did they make in total before it died? Uh, to, uh, I found 20 millions, which could yeah. be easily 30, I guess. Mm, yeah, yeah, exactly. And keep in mind, they're still making around seven to 800K a month. A month. It's still, yeah. Without still... much. From like 22,000 like... users as well, right? Like there's nothing. Uh, because yeah. it's Forex, man. Like yeah. if these clans That's stick, like, like for yeah. instance, look here. This is my clan. All these people are fucking completely into it. It's because... all AI. What are you talking about? It's all bots. No. <laughs> <laughs> bots can play our game, but bots won't pay in your game. <laughs> well, that's true. So they have the usual like alliance thing with all the helping thing and claiming thing and whatnot. And you know, that's the like the usual thing. Like it's pretty much all in this kind of shitty UI. Then they have their AFK arena part where literally they copied the like the lady with the beer here in the tavern where they have their gacha of course why not so there they... your waifus gotcha. this not the waifus <laughs> it's just like lazy, lazy copying stuff so they have the as i said like the hero system from afk arena like pretty much to do to the like last thing uh whatever let's pick some other character interesting how you can upgrade these like if, even if you look at the upgrade process it looks so prototypey and like yeah, it just looks like an MVP. Yeah, or... it looks like an MVP, but actually, I think they just, you know, saved on speed and just, like, coded yeah. everything into it. The other interesting thing is that this is pretty much my whole Forex base. So you have the just really necessary buildings. So one building is for doing the unit uh, training. The other one is the gacha building. You don't even need this one. <laughs> then you have the hospital one for wounded units. This is the destruction of property mechanic. And then you have the research trees here. So, and that's there, like, you don't need more than five buildings to do a Forex here. Okay. So all those other Forexes that you see, it's like 20 buildings and every single one, like Call of Dragons, whatever, like whole camp is full of them. This is it. It can be simplified to this. Then you have those offers walking around, like, that's a pretty nice touch to it. <laughs> like the lady asking you if you want to take her home. And by the way, there's this Golden Goblins creative yeah, I see. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, 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 that doesn't really do anything. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what he does because he was like collects three wood. When he I collects he collects like nine wood in every yeah. run. And yeah, and like runs four, runs around. Four hundred k wood in my inventory. <laughs> well, it's a very very big hard worker, <laughs> working hard all day long. Maybe he nice. yeah. likes wood. Yeah, 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 but but there's this like it's it's really interesting how they all combine it together because as I said, uh, the the thing that probably Matthew will show later is the top war thing because this is basically top war tutorial again. Yeah, it's course. copied, so they're just adding more and more of these kind of sudden appearance island that you need to defeat and then they get added to your main island and which pretty much like that's one of those like top war tutorials which is under forex yeah so they knew what they were copying but as i said like it's still heavily simplified on the first look like you saw felix it looks like hyper casual yeah. but then slowly it morphs into forex but 
it still looks on that kind of a shitty prototype art level that you think it's still hyper casual. So this so is the first guess, 4X well, game in the world that has a hyper casual onboarding or a Fatui. Uh, no, 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 no. We've seen many like this. It's, it's not like that. It's that they stay in the team of it because Top War at some point, they go away from it and pretty yeah, much show you their X. main visual, like how it's nice and everything, effects, blah, blah, blah. These guys stay on the hyper, hyper casual kind of a production values, let's call it, and keep it for the rest of the experience. So it seems very consistent that this is still hyper casual level production quality. Mm -hmm. So that I never seen ever before. Their ads are, I would say, pretty good. At some point, they're still like just rewarded videos. I, I found like four pretty good, five. pretty good, pretty good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what, what? Tell me I, fin I finished my ad one. I finished my that. second paragraph on my ad one like scene and I'm saying like literally what I'm going to say here to even say that this game is ad monetized brings shame on the whole concept of ad monetization no they do not have good <laughs> ad placements Remo for a forex like game, what are you talking about okay. <laughs> forget that yeah so they have their idle part uh, I don't know where, where it's even where because like I'm still getting kind of confused. Ah, yeah, here it is. So, so pretty much they have like idle part built into it. Nobody knows even about, you know, like the AFK arena where guys are fighting on the main screen and you go and collect resources. This is it. And it's hidden behind like five menus and see like how much resources you get out of it. Like so much. And then of course you can get more for ads. So I bet Felix didn't find this one. Yeah, I did. But no <laughs> one did. else will. No one else will. Yeah. Of you course. two figured it out. Congrats. Yeah. So. It's it's really interesting how this work and actually pretty much made the revenue. But the big question from my side is why this stopped working? Because like seemed to me it's still making a lot of money. Why would you think they would stop UA? And like, yeah, exactly. If this makes like seven hundred k or well, million a month, like why not uh, run scaling. away? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. And then I I also was looking like why they're not spending into it and then the retention is kind of like nine nine day 91%. So I guess like that this could be the reason. But basically. if I look at the chart, it doesn't seem like you're usually, you know, one hit wonder shark fin kind of a no, no, whatever no. fake, fake creative. Suddenly no, we found fake. it was creative and we not scaled. Fake creative. No, this no, is no. not X Hero or some some kind of No, no, no. Thing. It's not. It's definitely not X Hero. It's just they started spending, uh, then they peaked, and then suddenly in June, they just they stopped spending at all. That's that's the weirdest part. Like, why, why would you stop spending when you just peaked? <laughs> Maybe like almost like one point, for like two point five million uh, a month, and then they just stopped the UA. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make yeah, any sense. Doesn't make any sense for me. Like I, I, I would thought like this game would be kind of genius, but it's not. That's why it's dead. <gasps> so why are we reviewing it? <laughs> because we're learning from it. Okay. Yeah. What did you learn? Tell um, us. I, I mean, for admon. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Like what? Like, game design. What? Uh, like, like what's the learning out of this? Tell me. The learning is that you can easily streamline this kind of hyper casual creative bullshit that we've seen all over the place into some kind of actionable progression. What these guys did and then put it beside the forex okay and Which still, still make a shitload of money with like super low production values and okay. probably very low cpis well i wouldn't be so sure about those very low cpis when we look at the creatives it's just a very weird mix maybe they would have uh, uh low cpis with different creatives but uh with what they but this is this is the ran. mystery for me in the story like on paper it sounds pretty good on yeah. numbers it also sounds pretty good until start of this year not that, not even until the start of this year it's just like mid mid 2022 yeah yeah and then suddenly it collapsed yeah, suddenly, in, yeah, in it collapsed. august august yeah You're right yeah well okay so that was the learning amazing thank you <laughs> you all uh, all learned a lot yeah i mean uh Admon, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's go. I love this game for one reason, one reason only. It's completely proven Remo's statement that forex games never have ads. Completely wrong. That's uh, <laughs> when my love for Empire Takeover ends. Because <laughs> 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 it's probably one of the worst ad monetized games I've ever seen. Uh, like I said before, yeah, yeah, yeah. to say that this game has ad monetization uh, brings shame on the whole concept of ad monetization. <laughs> So, uh, Empire Takeover has four <laughs> rewarded ad placements, but they're so hidden that you don't really need to find them 
kind of in the fatui when you're playing the hyper casual like stuff you kind of are shown it but it's kind of just bolted on after every level there's an ad. yeah exactly but you don't need to because basically the resources you get from the ad doesn't make sense so there's no reason for ever to click on it and you can still skip the levels so it's just no real reason to ever watch a rewarded ad mm -hmm. so you know they might get some accidental clicks here and they there so yeah uh as you'd expect i'd say the imp that was probably around 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 five uh with an opt-in rate of maybe 30 percent if they're lucky probably closer to 20. Mm. so the ad unit is only visible for a short amount of time the rewards are pointless that you get from it so <laughs> basically they're kind of rule with ad monetization is you always need to have one rewarded ad placement that's always visible and basically also getting value from these placements so in the last 30 days this game has made an eye-watering $2,037 in ad revenue. And That's it's eye-watering because I'm crying to myself because I'm asking <laughs> why I'm spending my precious time reviewing such a pointless game. <laughs> and then, I was, like, and then I was like, no, 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 no. I'll, I'll give Remo a benefit of the doubt and I'll basically go back to when they were shark finning and basically go back to 2022 and see like, oh, let's see what's going on there. Oh, 200000 daily active users so that brings us to 557 dollars a day in ad revenue back then or about sixteen thousand dollars per month back in april what's 2022 the, what's, the, what's the ecpm you're counting this on yeah it's my standard like yeah i filtered for the us and rest of the world but you basically think it would be much higher because it's forex no Oof, there's not? just no impressions man like even if i trip yeah, but the ECPM is not making any money man hmm? It's super high paying users. It's high, it's high value users. So yeah, but easy. even if I double the ECPMs, it's like, okay, instead of well, then earning 500, yeah. so 550 <laughs> dollars a day is a thousand dollars a day, Remo. Yeah, yeah. It's like, like yeah. Yeah. I know it's shit. Like, so it's at, like, at one score is a B, B plus, bad plus terrible. <laughs> Can I give it lower than a one? I don't know. <laughs> I want to give Remo a bad score as well, but he's also my friend. So, you know, I, I repeat my question from earlier today in the quiet words of the Virgin Mary. Why am I reviewing this game? <laughs> the learning from it is I told you it's very interesting. I've never seen like Forex on hyper casual production level quality. Uh... Everyone that does Forex is like fucking great investment. You don't do Forexes on low budget because you don't Yeah, get but anywhere. those Forex games make twenty million a month. Or they could be dead in the water. That's also like you just don't see them. Could be, yeah, could be. Yeah, so I mean they, these guys could have done it without the ads. Game. <laughs> I mean <laughs> these guys could have done without the ads. Like, yeah. A month. Yeah. Well, 16k a month maybe 30 but yeah i don't i doubt it <laughs> even if it's 30 i mean it's what is it yeah. like a few well, percent i mean also though. also the only ads i ever saw was from AdMob, which leads me to believe i only think they have one ad network installed so most probably, like... yeah, most okay. Probably. <laughs> yeah okay uh do you think by slapping interstitials and banners on this would, would help it or not what do you definitely think the... well, wait, 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 i will answer it's, it's gonna increase the the daily revenue from 500 to 600 <laughs> Most probably. <laughs> so instead of 16k, you, you will earn 18. Well, if it's like five people there, like what, like what, would, what, do, what would you think? Like the interstitials will do, okay, and the let's, banners let's as go well. Back to time machine, time machine, zero, zero. Okay. Because it, the the DAU was never that high in yeah. this game. Even at the peak, it was like but this uh, forex. Forexes don't have high DAU. That's why they don't have ads. That's fine. Yeah, and yeah, these ones okay. did. <laughs> they didn't yeah, do a good job. But now, I mean, like that's kind of like proof of why it's not gonna work in forex, right? Yeah. If you put some ads there, it's it's low DAU, but the very high quality users, fine. So you will earn the money on the IIP side and not ads. But don't worry. I, I know Machi is going to have really big insights on the UA side. So let's just turn oh, yeah. it over oh, to UA. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, I hope you are, but this is, you are don't, ready don't for worry, it. Don't worry. It's a learning experience. I <laughs> learned <laughs> here that these guys didn't earn shit on ads. <laughs> and people tell me I'm mean on the podcast. <laughs> 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 I know, I know. I'm like, it's, yeah, you know, uh, we're two against one uh, in this case because uh, so what I've wrote here um, on the UA part in the first sentence is this game is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, you're no, dead. <laughs> yeah, dead. So dead. No, UA, no UA spent. Thank you very much for listening. We are done here. <laughs> hey, 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 thank you. Okay, bye. Until next time. Uh, so, but for the sake of the review, I actually look at the, the game when it was spending some money, which was the first half of 2022. So, uh, not that much. Uh, but iOS almost non existent, even in terms of revenues. So, uh, 
There's Even no more. DAU on iOS. It was super yeah. interesting. They just, they just didn't care. They're like, nope. Yeah, so they, uh, there was some spend happening on Android, I guess. So the game was downloaded almost like 7 million times and made 19 millions, which is not actually that bad. Not that bad at all. And since we have this sadness uh, multiplier, I think this could easily be the 30 million uh, lifetime revenue, as we, uh, as we said. Uh, so this game peaked in June 2022 with 1.3 million revenues. Again, sadness multiplied, I would say, 2.5. So after turning off the UA in June 2022, which is, I have like, no idea, like, why? Uh, the game kind of declined and still making like 1 million a month, given the multiplier. Uh, where is the money coming from? Uh, it's 50% revenue comes from US or 52% from US. And then we have uh, Germany, Taiwan and other tier one countries. So again, why the fact they're not spending? So I see the, the day 90 retention 1%. Day 142, day 711, I guess day 34%, which I guess this could be the reason. But you said that the, the retention was actually good when they were spending. So it still kind of looks like a mystery. Christian. Yeah. Do you think this game turned a profit? Well, now they, when they actually it's turned based off the... in China by Sky Dragon Games, if I get it right. So yeah. my guess is yes. Yes, for sure. Uh, I think they were not spending as much uh, when they were spending. And now they're basically spending nothing for a year. And, uh, and still they money. still make, yeah, it still makes money. So whatever they spend, they definitely got it back. Okay. But anyway, let's, uh, let's look at the, the activities they've done back in uh, 2022. Uh, so you at Channel Mix, uh, this is some old school shit, <laughs> honestly. They're spending most, Now, most of the money on Unity. Which is very surprising. Uh, also, it's surprising because they buy traffic from sources like Monopoly Solitaire, Build the Bridge, Solitaire Grand Harvest. I didn't even know like Grand Harvest is ads. Okay. But then I saw a lot of Boom Beat and Boom Hits games, which were basically all hyper casual. So after Unity, they have Google Ads and then some Facebook lift of mop up. <laughs> Blast from the past. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then very small TikTok and super, super small app login. So which is basically it. So it's like not a lot, not a lot of things they've done. Uh, but I also saw on Unity they're buying traffic from Kingdom Guard. Also, I didn't know like they have ads, by the way. Kingdom Guard has ads, really? Yeah, pretty much. They didn't. Yeah, yeah, I thought they didn't. So that was that was the learning the, that I took from this game. Actually, the okay. Kingdom Guard has There's ads. Forex. But see, it's a forex taking traffic from a forex. So my yeah. guess is their ECPM is higher on those ads than Mr. Felix thinks here. Sure, but even yeah, if but it's like, like five hundred. So my my highest ECPM yeah, 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 this one is at twenty five dollars, right? So even if I triple that, yeah, it's you know, still... it's like it doesn't it doesn't make or break, it doesn't change anything, you know? Yeah, but, but it yeah. Is... And then they were also buying Rush Royale uh, kind of ads uh, as well. And we know their ads there. <laughs> yeah, we know their ads there. Yeah. Right. And then uh, some Chinese uh, publisher. I have no idea. Or game. I have no idea how to, how to say the name. Anyway, so I know Felix, uh, you love interesting hooks. We definitely have some. Uh, but not sure if interesting or super sexist. Well, you will see. <laughs> you want to have the screen? Uh, sure. Um, so they took a lot of inspiration from Top War, uh, as you mentioned as well. Hero Even Wars. Their main, main base building. Yeah. And I guess some sexist bullshit game like Game of Sultans or whatever the name of the game is. But let's uh, let's take a look. So what do we have here? But see, this is one of the main learnings that uh, you can pretty much build the whole game based on UA creatives. Like, but it's these learnings that we we already had like five times before. But we never seen it applied or horribly failed. Uh, <laughs> really? How about the Kingdom Guard and Top Four? Uh, they didn't those... horribly failed. They horribly failed. <laughs> I said they didn't. Oh, they didn't. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's uh, let's actually start. Uh, so what do you want to see? Uh, let's start with static images. Obviously. Okay. Yeah. So that's the sniper game. There's a sniper game, for sure. And they have uh, yeah, different sniper things. They have this uh, hyper casual comparison, which is basically... I, what this I, is true. Yeah. Like, to, it's this is true. Yeah, yeah. This is true. So, yeah. No fake yeah. in this. It's not fake. Yeah, no fake. Uh, and then we have... 
Oh, they don't Hero have Wars. this, or at least I haven't seen. No, it well, it's Hero Wars. Yeah, Hero Wars whatever. towers, typical shit. Yeah, and the same thing here. So it's the Hero Wars uh, inspiration. This would be actually an amazing game if they build it. What this? Mm-hmm. A game? So it's much I, I... creative, like in, like they have in their puzzle levels. Okay. You'll be able um... to do that. All right. So what do we have? Uh, let's continue with the Hero Wars, uh, obviously. <laughs> Yeah, but at least you have... No, that was fake. This doesn't exist. Yeah, this is fake. Oh, no, she Sherlock. Of course, it doesn't exist. Do, do you think it exists in the, in Hero Wars? Why would you run in there with a 13? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the main <laughs> takeaway. So? That's the main <laughs> takeaway. You know, like here, Empire Takeover, so I think it's this is something, uh, some Chinese uh, thing, because Kingdom Guard also has uh, their own logo in all the credits. mm uh, so okay now what do we have there i think we can yeah let's let's leave the sexy hook at the end so i think we can we can uh start with this which is the, the poor ones the attic choice basically like okay where do i it's like like an iteration on the, the hero point. wars it's just different uh, only uh two percent of, of people can solve this one. Oh yeah of course only four percent this is basically altered gameplay Oh no shit. It's basically he- like top war. It's basically no, no, no. top war. I mean, you have this in the game. Yes, it... but not really. Mm. Yes, but not really. Free <laughs> and no ads. Look. You, you saw the the end screen? Yeah. <laughs> Free lights. and no ads. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so, you know, you definitely not lie in, in there. Uh so we have fail scenario, which is a gameplay basically, right? This is in the yeah, it's in the game, definitely. Yeah, you could go yeah. even through the obstacle because they are destructible in the game. No, oh, nice. Well, uh, well, it's, it get it gets complicated, like uh, like you you showed in the in the actual gameplay, because I mean, it gets very complicated. Yeah, it's like, not easy. Yeah, it's totally like there's landmines, there's like three to four opponents, there's obstacles, there's whatever, and there's by the way also the dynamic difficulty adjustment. So here, if you start oh. losing too much, they uh, give you like head start. So also nice. here, like what they're lying about in this creative is not that the game doesn't exist. It just looks a lot worse. <laughs> like the, the production value in the creative is so much better than in the game. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> There's shadows, if you mean that. Yeah, okay. And then we have this kind of like a hyper-casual-ish type of game. It's, you know, it's like these gates. You just... Hmm, that's a nice iteration. I mean, it's, yeah, like these... Game uh, like creative concepts are not bad. I mean, it looks terrible, but it's uh, yeah. It's I would maybe click on this. <laughs> yeah, they have these emojis. I mean, <laughs> emojis are... every every Chinese game is an emojis in the, uh, in the creatives basically, which is great. And then we have uh, what do we have here? So I was showing you this. Oh well, this we have again like a choice merch. This is total top war, like yeah, this is completely, top war. completely. Which is, I mean, it's not bad. Like the concepts are nice, but uh, it's again like five concepts, <laughs> all, all the same. Mm. But at least like something new. I mean, I've never seen this before, uh, yeah. which is nice. Uh, it take, definitely can like you can take inspiration from this. And this was taken from their peak days in twenty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So they were running. So this. why would they, why would they think like they stop it if they worked before? Like I like still kind of think like there's some external factor happening. I think so as well. Take. I think so like, as like, well. Like, there was another game launch run then that like swooped up a lot of the users or something. It was just like something we're just forgetting that's really big. I don't know. Call of Dragons happened in between. I think. From no, I don't think like it's that like but uh, that's like, like game uh, launch. So, so I think external in terms of like their company. Yeah, yeah, like something happened with the company or whatever who was managing the game or I don't know, like Earthquake or like, I don't know, literally something like that. That creative this, looks really good, but... Yeah, yeah. this looks, yeah, it looks kind of nice. And then, uh, I mean, so you have this hyper-casual looking creatives. Obviously, like, this is what has the lowest CPI, right? But then, like, why the fuck would you do these type of things? <clears throat> it's just like... Really? Yeah, Dude. it's just yeah. like even like this type of like uh, visual design in the in the hook. Ten seconds of this with this like uh, really, 
well fantasy dark hero. sexist like yeah and sexist is like it's just like why like why would you even do that like this might have like way, way higher cpis than than the previous concepts yeah it doesn't even help you on the hyper casual Exa- exactly thing. Yeah. yeah and this is just like exactly what they they're doing <laughs> nothing else right but again like this like weird fantasy hero um creative concept then same the same uh, uh creative concept just be different hero right mm. and then the one more <laughs> it's like <laughs> well this is slightly different could they try it's another like... hook like really like they exactly can come up yeah, with a better like... one like yeah I think yeah, they could do way better than like this sexist bullshit. But uh, well, choose the best target. I'm okay. still guessing that even without the hook, the previous creatives have having better CPI. Than I before. think so as well. Yeah, yeah, because it's just uh, it's 3D, way different, and that's it basically, right? So this is just uh, mm. this is what <laughs> what we have. So to summarize, oh, right, you need a score. Yeah, I need to give a score. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. So what did we have here? Sexist hooks, hero wars, top war, merge, and attack with choices. Sniper again. Yeah, sexy statics. So I'm being very generous here. It's like two out of ten, uh, and two because there's like different uh, merge concepts that was that were quite interesting. But honestly, it's just I don't like why people do these uh, <laughs> sexist hooks. It's just it's first of all it's terrible, and then second of all you have hyper casual looking game. Like why would you do that? It doesn't make any sense. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, for me it's like five out of ten. Oh well, yeah, I would expect like fifteen. Five, no, 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 if no, if I know it's yeah. five, I wouldn't even check this game. I don't know. Like it's definitely <laughs> for the effort because I would I would have guessed that this would be like the perfect product from UA side, you know. Like you have all the creatives, the hooks, the production quality that looks like hyper casual. You have the high LTV of 4X. You have like excellent transition, all of these kind of things that I guess clicked in current age of the IDFA apocalypse UAs that Matthew is going to get triggered. So yeah, seems to me like a perfect choice. But then, as I said, I'm guessing that we either don't know about some external factor that happened in the company or like. If somebody knows that what we're talking about here and want to write us, feel free to join our Slack. We're eagerly waiting for it because I think we're missing some kind of story behind this. So in summary, you don't need to spend AAA money to build a really beautiful game to make money. You can do hyper-casual in all game genres and the next like Supercell can... will be a hyper-casual <laughs> style, like really bad quality. You can use hyper-casual level production quality. <laughs> Yeah. We already know that. We already know that. Never mind. Yeah. But uh, the simplification of Forex is nice. Like just having five buildings is, yeah. in, a, in a Forex space is really good. That, that's nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I guess that's it. And uh, Remo, you, you need to make an uh, announcement. Well, Where are you going what? next week? Oh, yeah. The oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah, going, yeah. Well, fuck. Uh, like, basically, the time you're hearing this, I'm probably already in Istanbul at the Moby Dictum conference. So, what are you yeah. doing there? Yeah. So, I'm having it all hybrid <laughs> casual. So, I'm going to also oh, nice. talk about this shit. You're going to <laughs> so, talk about Forex games? Well, I hope yeah, not for also, the sake of the audience. No, no, no. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna talk about like lately what's been happening and like how I think people are gonna jump on this hybrid uh, casual, uh, the, let's say the newest sec- uh, sexy bandwagon that everybody wants to get into, but nobody knows what, what it actually means. <laughs> and yeah, I will try to pretty much uh, yeah figure it out together with people there what it actually means and like get some kind of terminology into it. Cool. Then PG Hays- PGC Helsinki, we're not going. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. We, we, were there. Not, we were too yeah. much stuff on our hands. No, we were there basically every year in the last five years, well, except Corona, obviously. And it's just, yeah, we'll need to pick pick our battles, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah, but uh, you can see me in another one of these ramblings later down the line in Cyprus Link Conference on 14th of September. Ooh. So, I'll be so Rima is uh is doing the, <laughs> the victory lap of all the conf- all the conferences. <laughs> nice. All right, good. Uh thank you very much for listening.
Please keep subscribing, share the podcast with your industry friends, colleagues, dogs and cats. They still love it. They still love it. And then uh, if you have any comments, please share your opinions and thoughts in the comment section on YouTube or write us on the uh, on our Slack where you should definitely join. It's 300 people over there. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I guess thank you again. Until next time. Cheers. Ciao. See ya. Dobry, 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 dobry. Well, there's food, yeah. Okay. So, dobry, dobry. Dobry, dobry. Is yes. Which, which you thought it's, it's dziakujem. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Walking around Slova- streets of Slovakia saying dobry to everything, thinking means thank you. Turns yeah. out it's not. <laughs> sure, okay, okay. okay.